In this video, we're going to be clearing the garden or cutting the grass. As you can see, that's ten and a half months growth there, and uh, looks quite lush. But it's really quite wispy grass. I'm going to go over it with a mower um, and just tidy it all up and get ready to plant our tomato plant at the top of the garden. Another view, you can see it's quite patchy grass, quite thin, but I'm going to mow all that. It's quite a big um, garden, really. I think it's about a quarter of an acre. There's the wood piles. That's the tree I cut down last year and stacked up. That's all drying out, ready for processing soon. And this is some wood that I ordered from a, a guy down the road who delivered it for me. Uh, while we were away it looks absolutely brilliant and that's all birch in there so i'll be moving that down to the woodshed but first of all just going to clear the garden so and today's weather absolutely beautiful about 24 degrees today it's three o'clock in the afternoon swedish time and uh, hopefully i'll have this done in about an hour Just refueled <coughs> sort of about halfway through it now i do keep stopping to um catch up with the ashes progress england playing australia in the cricket <coughs> got this next section to do this um mcculloch brilliant you can see the ground is bumpy there's rocks in the ground there's tree roots everywhere so I've got it set quite high and just bounce over it. Um, going pretty well. It's not the perfect cut. I've left some of the flowers. I feel a bit guilty cutting down all the flowers. So I've left a few patches of those. But although the grass is easy to walk through, it is good to keep it cut, stop mosquitoes. Uh, this year, normally when you cut the grass on the first time, you get plagued with mosquitoes. I haven't had any. There's a few horse flies following me about, but uh, nothing's bitten me yet, so big progress. I'm not sure what's happening. We got bitten in southern speed at Sweden, but since we've been here three days, haven't had one mosquito bite yet. It's a bit of a miracle, but we're going to make the most of it while it's still like this. It won't last for long, so we'll carry on with the mowing. So that's the mowing all done. Uh, well, for this first cut, I will cut it again in about four weeks, probably a slightly lower cut, and then probably another four weeks after that. And basically you only have to cut it three times a year. So there's the path going down to the old toilet. Oh, I think we've got a train about to come past. Come past twice a day. There it is, bringing all the logs back from the forest. Um, cleared the grass down to the garage. That's the pile of cuttings from the top garden. Half grass, half leaves. One obstacle I did come across, which you don't get in Britain very often, an antler laying in the grass. 
so the train's still going as you can see they're quite a lot of logs come back every day in the season so I've left this clump of flowers for the insects quite a few flies flying about now um, around the back of the house I cut a path through there started that last year just make a little path through the dogs love running around neighbors dogs and our dogs love running around this this cabin so I've only cleared so far back left quite a lot of flowers um, but this will get rid of the mosquitoes or help get rid of mosquitoes or make it less likely to come this is our looping area over there and through here for our washing <laughs> looking down the garden looks way better down the boundary wall and I'll show you the uh, strawberries so these are our wild strawberries are growing the wall they've definitely spread around the wall so day two of the gardening i've got this uh, extremely powerful strimmer or brush cutter and it uses um like a thick nylon uh, strimmer wire so what i'm going to do is just go into these areas of the garden and strim back anything that's wheat like a weed um, it cuts through maybe things as thick as your finger but I did a, I did a lot of clearing last time so it's just just a case of just taking down some of these bush parts so have a little go on that made short work of that just clearing that out discovered a few of our baubles that we have on our christmas tree out here we're going to put some lights on this one this year as well solar lights for later in the year and also uncovered a massive antler which was just stuck in the tree for now but uh yeah i'll carry on strimming get this area clear there are some big branches i need to cut out like trees at the bottom um but it clears it really well and like I say it should help the mosquitoes stay away it is well in the 20s today already I think it's about half 10 in the morning it's well I think it's predicted to be 25 today so crazy gardening in Lapland in a heat wave and I'm wearing wearing my long trousers just some things flying about in there most of it but I've left little clumps of flowers so I've finished the garden now I'm going to plant the tomato plant pick the middle of this grassy area which is sort of the most sunshine a bit up to where I get worms from and brought a load of soil back because there's not a lot of soil in this ground uh, so that's sort of like compost it's full of worms but I'm going to take those out for fishing so I've got my fishing box and I've got the spade, dig out the hole, so I'll get it dug and planted. So I've dug a nice big hole for this plant to go in. It digs really easy. This soil is sort of sand. When it rains here, even when it heavily rains here, the grounds dry really quickly. And it just drains through this soil so quick. So going to line this with this compost and put the tomato in but we will have to water it every day I think because um, like I say the ground is so well draining okay so the tomatoes in we've got a little stick 
for it to grow against. I'm going to give it a good soaking. There's a lot of compost in there, so hopefully that will do the job. It's looking a bit sorry for itself, but there are some shoots, and hopefully with this sort of almost 24 hour daylight, it will grow well. I'm sure we'll be doing an update on it very soon. enjoyed our gardening in Lapland video and uh, let's hope the tomatoes plant survives we'll see uh, thanks again everyone for watching liking subscribing all the good things really appreciate it hopefully I'll have another video out soon which I think might be catch it kill it eat it featuring a famous perch